locked in right now, but hopefully everybody's had a great weekend. Oh yeah, 108 degrees out and I'm drinking coffee. Corey Delgado, what is up buddy? Robert, Felix, what's up my man? Columbia man, welcome to the Sunday Cars and Coffee. Rapid, what's up buddy? Speed Mason, what's up? New collector, my man. Brandon B, NASCAR guy, Rudy Moons, what is up? Hi from Belgium. Everybody give uh, Rudy some waves over there in Belgium. Definitely appreciate you guys tuning in to another Cars and Coffee. Hopefully you all, all had a great weekend so far. Uh, Jonathan Lopez says, what's up? Hello in return. Alan Gall, my man, what is up? Rapid says, I have a Mustang you don't have. I know, and I will get my hands on one. Hello from the best country in the world, England. Live from England. Speaking of England, Kevin Cunts, what's up, buddy? Rapid, I know you were uh, checking out this Pantera, and I thought it was super cool. This is the second Matchbox I've ever found that is straight from England so that is really cool um, this is actually an original casting from 1975 I believe this will be my official oldest car in my collection Ben Kramer exactly it's all about the red white and blue baby red white and blue but everyone's got to be proud of their country so rap it ain't wrong Tom Brown welcome Alan says, Australia. <laughs> From down under. I've always wanted to go to Australia. Rapid says, he ain't ever wrong. Well, I don't know about that. So what y'all guys find this weekend? Did you find anything good? Anything in your stores? Because my area is drier than Arizona. And Arizona's pretty dry, so... Um, Jorge Delgado says, hopefully one day I'll find the England double-decker bus from Matchbox in a garage cell. Um, I know there's a booth over at that little antique mall that I always go to, and they have a bunch of different buses and all kinds of scales. I'll keep an eye. I'll actually look for you. Um, if I find one, that'd be pretty sweet, and I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, Speed Mason says, I have a few Matchbox OGs. Nice. Rapid stuck on E-Case. Columbia man, there's nothing. Yeah, Sammy, my man, what is up? Welcome to Sunday's chat. Tampa, what's up, my man? Santiago's in the house, what's up? Uh, Columbia man says he's got a green double decker. Speed man got the C8 and the MR2. Nice, those are some beautiful castings. Um, I actually have the C8 right here. This thing is gorgeous and the detail that matchbox puts I mean I wouldn't expect anything less Dane self what's up buddy um, Ben Kramer's got the gold double-decker too uh, Nova Domus says same dry in store but my toy shop is shipping both J and K cases to me nice and all targets Tampa is dry too. Colorado side of Four Corners, yeah. EJ's Workshop. What's up, buddy? Uh, we're just going over our not-so-good weekend of hunting and all that stuff. Uh, Santiago says, I have two Mustangs for you, but no address. Uh, DM me on Instagram or email me. Um, let me know because I don't want you to send something I already have, but I definitely appreciate you. HMR62 picked up a bunch of M2 Mustangs, 20 mid 2000 treasure hunts. Nice, nice. M2s, M2s and Johnny Lightnings. 
Um, along with Auto World, those are like my favorite side brands to go to. Uh, Sammy says all Walmarts have nothing. Yeah, literally found nothing. But um, hey, what's up, buddy? My buddy Mike's in the house, also known as Helmet Diecast. Pete, old man Diecast, what is up? Uh, Jorge Delgado did find a Hot Wheels Ferrari at a garage sale for 50 cents. Nice. Nice, man. Uh, did anyone else find the Hummer H1 White Lightning? No. I'd love to find a White Lightning, though. Um, Alan found the L case. Treasure Hunt, no Mercury. Dang. Old Man Diecast did not know you liked Matchbox. Yes, I love Matchbox. Um, I pretty much like any brand. I'm not, I'm not particularly stuck to just Hot Wheels. Um, I know 99% of my collection is Hot Wheels, but I love castings in general. Um, but Matchbox, I don't know. You know, it's one of those old company, old brands. Um, especially when you come across the Pantera that you hooked me up with. This thing is just super cool. Um, and when I was looking on Fandom, it actually does come with two different wheel variations for the front and rear. So um, it does have like a gear style wheel up front and then a five style in the back. And I thought that was very interesting that they did that from this casting. But um, this particular one was released from 1975 to 1979. So this is very, very old. So Pete, I think you officially hooked me up with my oldest die cast in my entire collection. Um, Cause that Volkswagen Golf that I had, I think that one was from 79. Um, and this being from 75, definitely my oldest cast. Christina, what is up? Welcome to another Sunday Cars and Coffee. And your dad says, hello. Tell him I said hello as well. Uh. <laughs> Tampa says Christina and Christina's dad hi yes Pete I love it I cannot wait to do s I have a lot of things in mind for this um, I actually watched a video of a channel I can't remember the name because I uh, just recently subscribed to it but they restored this exact same one but it had the blue base variation so this one it was actually before the blue base and it came out really good but I think I can do a little bit of a cooler twist on it so it doesn't look just like it but man the potential that this casting has is amazing diecast chasers what is up uh nova damas says no gk super treasure hunt but i did get both f and h supers in my cases nice it's tough to find supers in store where i am competitive yeah that's exactly how it is here there's a lot of collectors there's a lot of people that just started collecting but for the resale purposes so I'm also trying to out um, hunt them so it's it's definitely pretty rough um, has anyone seen the R32 transport yes I seen it on I think it was a uh, ministry of diecast or someone posted it EJ says drop the suspension like it's hot <laughs> So the thing, the thing I noticed about this when I was watching the guy um, actually take it apart and redo it, it actually has a suspension bar that goes across both axles. So you don't have to do any cutting of the um, teeth that usually hold down your axles and all that stuff. You just lift it up, it pulls out the wheel, um, but this one looks like it's missing the piece. So I just might have to fabricate something for it, but I cannot wait to get to this. But before I can get to the Pantera, I do have to get to the 300ZX um, that I got from uh, Rare Dotson. He's been wanting me to restore this. So if you guys saw on the picture that I posted of this twin mill in that purple chrome cast color, this is the color that I'm going to be doing this car in. So I'm wanting it to look exactly like this, restore it as best as I can. And put some nice real riders on it. Um, I wish I can get everything to the way it should be with the, you know, Japanese style font tampos on there. I wish I can put that back on there, but I don't have any water transfers for that. I could freehand it, which I guess I could do and I might do. I don't know. 
Um, but I got to do that. I have a couple customs I'm trying to finish up. Uh, EJ says, cat and mouse game everywhere for many collectors. Sad to say, exactly. Black Cat 209, what's up, my man? The Diecast King is also in the house. What is up? Uh, Old Man Diecast says, if you have to replace it, buy a cheap tape measure from Harbor Freight or wherever. Take it apart and use the spring metal piece at the end inside the case. Nice. That's a good little tip there. Manny's Custom Garage, what's up buddy, he says, uh, what's going on Mustang Hunter, just got K-Case, no super, but got my 85 Camaro, nice, nice, 85 Camaro is a good, good generation, you can ask Pete, Pete would give you all the details on that, um, Speed Mason says, I can't wait to see it's favorite car, Bruce Zolo says, what's up, Jason, and chat. So welcome to the Sunday Cars and Coffee stream. Yes, I am drinking a coffee in 108-degree weather. So luckily I got AC in here. Beats Diecast says, hey, hey, buddy, happy Sunday. Back at you, buddy. Hail to the king, says EJ. Um, so I was going through my daughter's toys and all that stuff because uh, she wanted me to look for her princess stuff. And I found this at the bottom of her little toy box. I was looking for this T-Bird for I don't know how long. <laughs> Look at that. This is the Flying Customs I just recently found a couple, maybe like two months ago. The Flying Customs T-Bird in a metallic pink. It's a really nice metallic pink. But it was there, sitting at the bottom of her toy box. I was like, there it is. I didn't know where it was. Yeah, I knew that would turn up eventually, says Rapid. Uh, Diecast King says, how many Hot Wheels Supers do I have? I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 Supers. Speedman's got to go. All right, appreciate you tuning in. Um, Black Rifle Coffee is the best. I've never had it. I've never had it. I know you, you're probably wondering why I haven't tried it, but I'm definitely going to give it a try. Uh, Tampa says, now you're talking my language. <laughs> T-Birds are my heart, he says. Yeah, this is the only T-Bird I have in my collection. Look at that. For, for it being at the bottom of my daughter's toy box, I'm glad it's still in really good shape. Look at that. No scuffs, no cracked window, no chips. So yeah. 98. Oh man. Yeah, it's 10, I think it's like 106 here right now. Um, the only thing I found this past weekend um, was the 72 Ford Bronco out of Matchbox. Um, I had passed this up a couple weeks ago, and I was like, man, why did I leave it there? Look at that metallic purple. This thing is done right. Beautiful cast. Those wheels are just sweet looking. Now, the only thing I don't like is that massively thick hitch. I mean, that's a little too overboard. I would probably chop that thing off, but you guys know I collect Broncos, so this is another Bronco to have in my collection. Um, old man says, uh, tell she never go past the top of the box. <laughs> yeah, she never does. She grabs everything from the top. Yeah, the color of that Bronco Rapid. I know you're, you're really digging the purple colors and so am I. Um, I've never been a huge fan of purple, but the purple castings look really good, especially this, um, color that I ended up doing this twin mill, this thing. And this is no wet sanding. This was three coats of that metal cast paint which is from duplicolor yeah duplicolor right here so three coats of that and two coats of clear coat and that is it and that is how that thing came out looks so nice mike's diecast what is up my man stay tuned for my upload it's going to have your package unboxing so yeah um, everybody stay tuned. I'm having a video upload. It is an unbox or unwrap of a package that Mike sent me. Um, Mike sent me some customs and then I got another one from Raymond. So stay tuned for that. 
Definitely got some beautiful cars in there. Definitely had some good ones. Um, Jorge Delgado says, Matchbox is coming out with a sick Toyota Helix truck in their next mix. Nice. Those Helux trucks are pretty sweet. I drove a bunch of those when I was uh, deployed in the desert because that's all they drive over there. Those things are pretty sweet. Uh, Mike says, brother, thank you again for my bone shaker. It's a masterpiece. It is my pleasure, my man. I told you I was going to hook you up with a custom, um, and you said you love hot rods. Everybody should love the bone shakers. Those things are probably the coolest, um, one of the coolest hot rods that Hot Wheels has, and I thought that would be the perfect candidate um, especially with those wheels I put on there. I think that thing came out really, really nice. Top Flight 1277, what is up, my man? Nahal Bro says hello as well. Um, Diecast King, what year did you start collecting? I started collecting in 2010, but I didn't collect like I do now. Now I'm like every single day out there hunting. Uh, Rapid says, the bone shaker you did for Michael is top notch. You know how much... You know how much I like those patina looks. Yes, thank you so much, Aaron. Um, I definitely like doing the patina look, and I love adding, adding that rusty, um, just barn fine style, and it just came out really, really good. So I'm glad he liked it. I'm glad everyone enjoyed it. Um, Alan Gall says, the new Hot Wheels Mercedes 300 SL and L case. Uh, the black one? No, no, no. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Diecast works. What's up, my man? Do you have the Nissan Titan from Matchbox? Two variations. No, I don't have. Um, I don't have that many Matchbox. They're start my Matchbox collection is starting to grow slowly but surely. Um, but most of my Matchbox are Mustangs, and I do have a couple like the Broncos, a couple trucks, and a couple like side piece cars. Um, Northeast Ohio diecast and treasures. What is up, my man? He found a bunch of K case and two J case T hunts. Nice. Whole lot of zip. Appreciate you, man. Says I have a sweet collection going on. Thank you very much. Oh, Alan says that Mercedes is silver. Nice. Yeah, Derek already found that, that HKS super. Um, he found two of the HKS cars, the the Type R. He found a Pagani, which I'm actually getting from him because I'm gonna trade him. Um, eventually, I was initially I was giving him the '57 Chevy for a couple of Porsche castings that I really wanted, and now we're just doing a one for one. So, um, Diecast Works found two Datsun 510 Supers. Dang, that is that is a good uh, good haul right there. Also got the Liberty Walk GTR. Nice. Um, which Bronco do you like? Hot Wheels or Matchbox? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, I think as far as proportions and accuracy goes, I think the Bronco for Matchbox looks the best. But let me let's do a comparison because I want to make it fair. Alright, so we'll kind of do their One's a custom, of course, because the high fender arches and the fender flares and all that. Um, I don't know, guys. What do you think? Which one? Same era. Well, pretty close to the same era Bronco, except this one's the custom. So you have the overly um, large fender flares, which look really good on this casting. The wheels look nice. And then, of course, you have more of the factory-looking Bronco. I don't know. I think this one looks probably more more accurate to scale and proportion. And I love the color choice. Now if they threw a metallic color onto this one, I think it would look really, really nice. But I don't know, that's a tough I, I think I might go with Matchbox on this one. What do you guys think? Matchbox or Hot Wheels? Let me know. Alright, Santiago says Matchbox is better. Um Michelle, Michelle Bill says, how do you get your treasure hunts? It's just timing. Um, I try to get them as soon as I see it's a fresh, um, either new fresh pegs, a fresh dump bin, that's when I hit it hard. Um, a lot of times, 
when I get to places they're kind of already emptied out so I try to get there as early as possible early morning hunts are the best time um, especially right now with COVID stores aren't 24 hours so they're stocking all night and if you get their doors open it's usually fresh um, Michael says the Matchbox Bronco Diecast King says do you drive a Mustang because your channel is named the Mustang Hunter I do drive a Mustang it's a 2005 um, it's almost full bolt on I just don't have heads or cams um, but it's got a lot of stuff done to it and it's my second Mustang my first one was a 2004 Mach 1 Mustang in Oxford white but it was a four-speed automatic same bolt-ons I had now um, but I wanted something newer and fresh because I just I, I drove the crap out of that Mach 1 um, but I do miss it a lot um, Daniel Reed says have you seen the latest Boulevard sets in Walmart been seeing and got the VW drag bus set but haven't seen any newer sets um, the only ones I've been seeing are the um, what do you what do you call it the uh, the Fast and the Fierce ones really I haven't seen any other boulevards um, a lot of our area hasn't been getting any of the new stuff it's been a lot of older stuff that they keep bringing out all right so it looks like a majority of you say uh, Matchbox EJ thinks the custom from Hot Wheels looks better yeah Matchbox is definitely taking it um, I think they take the Mustang as far as details and and uh, casting goes but Hot Wheels has much better variations if you want more realistic castings more true to the car color schemes and all that matchbox but if you want something like crazy um, crazy liveries and all that stuff Hot Wheels is the one to go Tampa says you gotta port it yeah the only port port work I have is the throttle body I have it ported and polished from a 55 to almost a 60 millimeter um, I might as well have just gone a BBK throttle body for a 65 millimeter but I did what I did during the time of budgeting my cash um, Tom Brown thinks the Hot Wheels premium Broncos are the best I don't think I've seen a premium in person but I could probably think that yeah those would probably be the best looking uh, Max Cruz says have you seen the Matchbox new cars um, which ones are you talking about? Are you talking about like the C8, the Civic, um, the MR2, and all those cars? Uh, Tampa, do your underdrive pulleys. Yep, I got uh, stack racing underdrive pulleys on it. I got 410 racing gears, um, Hurst Comp shifter, BBK cold air, BBK full exhaust, uh, Diablo Sport tune with a Steeda race tune. Um, yeah, I got a bunch of stuff on it. Do you have the 2005 Mustang Treasure Hunt? Uh, yes. It's over there. Yeah, I just yeah, just stay tuned for my video. I actually coincidentally got one of those. The Matchbox Porsche 1980 Turbo is great. I agree. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. A lot of the Porsches that come out of Matchbox are really, really cool looking. Um, I've, I'm actually a really big fan of the rallies, the 911 rallies that came out of that. Both Mattel at the end of the day, both sweet. Yeah, I agree. Um, that's the one thing that uh, people that don't really collect and I talk about it because they're like, oh, you collect Matchbox. I'm like, no, I collect Hot Wheels, but yes, I collect both. Um, but they're usually surprised that I tell them they're owned by the same company. Uh, do you got the 20 Toyota GR Supra? Yes, I do. And it is right somewhere. Oh, it's over here. Yes, and this thing is beautiful. There we go. Love the Gretty Deco. Of course, the black tin spokes and white enamel just looks super cool. Um, did Matchbox change their card design for this year? Um, no, they're doing more of like the retro theme of it. So you have it right here. Um, I would like to see the older artwork, which I have a few old, like, um, I would like for them to kind of bring this look back because I kind of like this one. It's a little Hot Wheels looking, but um, I'm kind of digging the retro theme of it. So definitely like that. So I'll hang this back up.
Uh, Christina M says we like that 914 too. Yep. Loving God 5, what is up? Nolan Green, welcome. Daniel Reed says thanks for the info in my local Walmart release. Or they released previous sets, but no newer sets. A lot of sets, peg warming, gathering dust. Yeah. Um, so the way that usually works, which I've noticed a lot on, is they'll get in a lot of shippers, a lot of dump bins. They'll put them in the back, but they wait till everything out on the floor is completely gone or close to being empty. And then they'll bring that stuff out. But if they don't have that transition time of the stock being empty, and that peg um, and that dump bin being brought out and they get another shipment in that new shipment takes precedence and then that one that they had prior stays back there that's why you see a lot of stuff come out like why is QK's of last year coming back out it's because they get so far behind in those shippers and then when they finally get caught up because they haven't gotten any new stuff then it looks like just old stuff keeps getting released but it's all the stuff they have in the back um, they always have stuff back there I used to work at Target back in 07. Like, they have stuff back there. Uh, Walmarts are now open from 6 a.m. to 11 except Tuesdays. Oh, nice. That You know, that makes sense because uh, normally they open up at 7. But when I got there today at 7, there was people already, like, full baskets. I was like, what? All right, so now I know. I lost an hour to probably other people that were hunting. We got a lot of old releases here in North Carolina. North California says Black Cat 209. Max Crew says he got 10 supers today. Jet Young says, Do you have any Matchbox Lesney Edition Boss Mustangs? I do not, but I would love to get my hands on that. Do you have the 1949 Ford truck? Is that the black one? Because I don't have that one. I passed it on. Nas, what's up, my man? He says, right on, they do have stuff back there all the time. I've seen it with my own eyes. Yeah, they do. They leave all that stuff back there, and they're like, no, we just got to wait till all the new stuff gets put out. Um, employees have told me that at Target, and then I'm like, I used to work here. I know how it works. Que pasa, Nas, says Jorge Delgado. Uh, Rick Bobby says, or Rico says looking forward to the rlc c10 yeah that thing's gonna be sweet all right guys so before i before i forget um the video that i posted yesterday or yeah i think it was yesterday i was talking about the launcha stratus that i was really regretting giving away the um, the mystery model so while I was grocery shopping and there was absolutely nothing on the pegs, there was a whole bunch of opened mystery model boxes. And I was like, you know what? Let me try to find the mystery launcher. And I found it. Never thought I was going to because this is number two, I think it is. Yeah, this is number two. Number one's the Mini Cooper. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and open this up because I found two of them. So this one's going to stay in the bag. This one's going to be open. So here we go. Because I want to really look at this one again. I forgot who I gave it to. But there we go. Look at that. Oh yeah, I got it back, baby. Took a little digging and hunting, but I found it. I told you, when I go hunting, I go hunting. There we go. Still got the gold PR5s, the number two for being the number two mystery model. And of course, you have the gray louvers. Look at that. All right, now, you gotta tell me which one's your favorite, because this is the first edition. Which one do you think is best? Man, I don't know. I was really digging this one yesterday. Hmm, I don't know. The tampo on this one's all kind of messed up. You see it's kind of like flaking off a little bit. Black Cat says the red. Yeah. I'm still digging the red one just a little bit, but I'm glad I was able to find it. I was like, yes. And look at that. This actually does have a base variation too. It is not the same base. So look at the rear. Look at how far down and different the casting is. So this is the first edition tooling. You can see the bumper was a one piece and the new one is a two piece. Look at that. And it looks a little larger on this one. Like the casting looks larger. 
Oscar says, finally able to catch her live, man, on lunch break. Sweet, man. Glad you're able to tune in. Um, just going over the fact that I finally got my hands on the number two mystery model since I gave it away the last time. And we're just kind of looking at the differences between the two castings of the first edition and the newer release. And the biggest thing was the base and the rear bumper. Definitely, look at that. Even the base on the bottom's different. Looks like this one has a wider wheelbase than this one. Even the front has a different cast. This one actually has the grill holding that front end where this one's riveted. So yeah, I definitely like the red one much better. So there you go. Now you can see the difference between the two. Um, yeah, it even looks like the top of the, the roof is more narrow and more egg shaped than this one. So just slight differences guys, slight differences, but I like to pay attention to stuff like that because I am a variation collector um, and I like seeing um, how they change toolings and all that stuff. So that is sweet. So glad I was able to get one in the bag. So I'll keep this one in the bag and then this will sit with the launcher. Um, all right, so now it says Mustang Hunter, you need any of the other mystery model cars from that release? No. Um, I liked the Mini Cooper and the Mitsubishi, but I really like the Lancia better. Um, do you have the 70 Dodge Power Wagon in any color or not? Yes. Let's go take a tour to the Power Wagons. All right. So I got the orange one right here. Got the blue and white. Got the mustard yellow, the Zamac and the red edition right there so i do have those what is that five variations of it those are the only ones i have i'm not sure if that's all of them but yeah those are the 70 power wagons i have and i still think my favorite one is the zamac followed by the blue followed by red and then i would have to say oh man maybe the yellow and then that one last all right uh, Lewis says, what city are you at? I am in Surprise, Arizona. So I am stationed here at Luke Air Force Base, but I live over here in Surprise. Rabbit says, man, I think I'm going to have to beg with the new mystery models. Uh, have you seen that Skyline R30? That thing is gorgeous. Oh, I want to, I want to say I have, but I, no, I don't remember. Um, Jorge Delgado says the first edition Bugatti Veyron, similar to what you're saying right now, is the best. Need the red. Yeah. So that Stratos of the Lancia I found at that antique mall for a dollar. Um, Santiago says, do you have the 98 Ford Mustang Cobra? Yes, I have all variations except for one. I have all of them but one and I just need to get it. It is white, but it's not the one with the number. It has like very minimal deco on it. Um, ah, I can't remember what deco is on it. But yeah, I have them all. Um, Mark Woodruff says, thank you for your service. I appreciate your support. Um, yeah, something I definitely take pride in doing and serving the country, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's definitely benefited myself and my family and it's taught me a lot over the 10 years. Um, what's your favorite decade of cars? 60s, 70s, or 80s? Oh, man, that's tough. Um, hmm. 60s would probably be more dominant in the muscle car era, the 70s. After like 72, 73, it started changing more into the um, um, fuel crisis. That's where they started taking out big blocks and all that. They were still nice cars. But I would have to say 60s. Yeah, 60s. Have you seen Banana Car? Yes, I have. I seen it when I was getting those uh, new power grabs for Matchbox. Yeah, I seen the Banana Car. That thing is silly looking. Um, what is it about all FHE Nissan GTRs being exclusive? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Marius, hi from the UK. What is up, buddy? 
Max has slot cars. Nice. Um, I seen a slot car Ferrari F40, but they wanted 30 bucks for it. And I was like, man, I really want that in my collection, but I don't want to pay 30 bucks for it. Um, has anyone been able to find the Kroger exclusive R35? No, I look every single day. I got two fries that I hit up every day on the way to work. One right by my house and one right by the base. I check it every single day and yeah, still haven't come across it. Um, I haven't seen it in Arizona yet, but I'm hoping it does because typically we get a lot of Kroger exclusives. Um, Michelle Bill, do you have the 2003 Bugatti Veyron? It's worth a hundred bucks. No, I only have one Veyron or two if you want to count the exotic five pack, but it's charcoal gray or the black, black metallic. I have it loose somewhere up here, but no, I don't have that one. My dad was army world war two and grandfather in world war one Navy. Awesome, man. Well, I personally thank them for their service cause they laid out the platform which we walk on today so if it wasn't for them um, doing what they did in their time period it, it wouldn't be how it is now so I definitely thank them um, Santiago says it's white black and orange number 48 team Wagner is that the is that the night is that the 98 Cobra is that one you're talking about uh, Marius you got the new blue GTR um, no, no, I don't have the new blue GTR. Um, Luis says, I will be driving through Surprise, Arizona this Friday on my way to Vegas. Is it worth to hunt anywhere in, Ar in Arizona? Surprise, actually, when it does get stocked up really good, it is a hot spot. But um, if you're like in the area where Honest Diecast is in Chandler, he scores like crazy. I mean, he finds a lot of supers in that area. Um, our area is really, really, really heavy in collectors, so it doesn't really last long. But still, you should definitely still go through surprise. There's a uh, hit up the fries. Targets are kind of hit or miss. Just don't hit Target in Peoria. That one's trash. Um, Walmart's in surprise are really good. Um, Jorge Delgado says the best chance of finding super treasure hunts is in Ralph's or Kroger shippers. They are getting G and H case mixes. Yeah. Fries and fries also known as Kroger, um, is where I find most of my supers. <laughs> Rico says I got a few slots myself. <laughs> Rapid doesn't want to talk about exclusives. Um, says I'll say the Batmobile from Eric brand is sick probably it probably is I I need to look at it Mike's diecast said sadly I won't be getting those Kroger exclusives I wouldn't say that Mike just yet um, hopefully I can get my hands on a good amount of sets I want to get at least four or five good sets of those Kroger exclusives so I can hook up people that don't have the ability to get Kroger exclusives um, so, yeah. <laughs> Christina says, Mustang Hunter, you're going to break Rapid. <laughs> Sorry, Rapid. All right. All right. Rapid wants me to change from GTRs, and I know which car he really wants to talk to or talk about. So, um, I did find this this morning, and uh, EJ Workshop says, me, me, me. <laughs> My find Roger Dodge. Okay, I need a Kroger set. Yeah, I know I know a lot of you are going to be like, all right, hook me up with a Kroger set. Like I said, if we do get the Kroger sets here, which I really, really, really hope we do, I will try to get as many full sets as I can, and then maybe I'll just try to do a random act of kindness for you. Um, I'm not saying everybody, but I will do my best. Um, but anyways, I did find this bad boy today. Check this out. This is super cool. Now, I did pass up the first movie variation of this, um, and I, of course I sent it to A-Fall Man and Nas, and Nas was like, yeah, that one's actually hard to find because everyone's focused on the first two. Um, and check this out, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and turn off this light. And look at this. Ugh. That is sick. Look at that. That is wicked cool. And the detail this thing has, let's go ahead and put the light back on. The detail this thing has 
Look at that. It even has that brushed stainless steel look on the body. Yeah, Nas loves it. Yeah, this thing is super sick looking and I love those wheels. God, that looks so good. So I seen the first one at Target and I was like, oh man, that's sweet. It lit up too. And then I left it on the shelf. I was like, ah, maybe not right now. Cause I had a, uh, a pretty good haul that time. And I was like, man, I'm spending too much. So I left it. I went back that maybe three hours later, it was gone. And then I stumbled across this today and I was like, not again, I'm not passing it up. And I always tell people, if you see it, just buy it. And then I didn't do, I didn't even take my own advice. So there we go, Rapid. You can look at this. We'll talk about this for a little bit since you don't want to talk about GTRs. So there we go. This DeLorean DMC from the third movie is freaking nice looking. <laughs> Nightson says, well, it's been buried for 70 years. <laughs> yeah, Mike, uh, I, I also agree. Jada does have some really, really good stuff. I have a few Jada cars up there. A um, couple of the Fast and the Furious cars, a little bit of older Jada. Um, they do have really cool castings. Um, of course, Rapid, you would kill for that. You would kill for a lot of things that we have over here. Yes, it is abs it like you said, it is absolutely stunning the detail. This is probably the coolest variation because the first one is sweet, but when you have all the detail from the third one, like those wheels, they look so sweet on there. Now, this should be brown, that um hood contraption that they put on there when they were trying to get the time um the flux capacitor and all that stuff working, that should be brown, but I mean, who's really critiquing accuracy? Do you have any real 1970 Hot Wheels or Matchbox? Um, you just talk about 70s releases or 70 bodies, like 70s body styles. Um, Marius says you got the new premium set with Blue Bugatti and Aston Martin Vulcan. I do, but I only picked up the Lamborghini. I didn't care for the other ones. They look kind of cheap to me. Um, I've seen better castings out of the premiums, but the Valhalla, the Aston, and the Bugatti just didn't, they didn't really capture me in person like they did on pictures. Um, Ken says, have you been to Bargain Hunt? Some of them have premiums for 275 Wow. I don't even know where that's at. But um, Kroger or Fry's has the premiums for like 3 bucks, $3.99. Nas says Jada is much nicer than the NECA uh, release of the DeLorean, which is like 60 bucks. Jeez. Black Cat wants the Scarface Cadillac. Yeah, that thing is sweet. I've seen it online before. Do you have a lot of Mustangs? Yes, I have a lot of Mustangs. From this point right here all the way to over there is Mustangs. I got Mustangs along this wall all above there that windows full with mustangs i got mustangs above me i got the full display of mustangs right here um i got mustangs over here i got mustangs everywhere I, the mustang hunter yes i have a lot of mustangs <laughs> where's king nut king nut in here everybody's saying king nut there he is what is up my man king nut is in the hizzy says naz uh do you have the new m2 green mustang transport set no the lime green one no that's god so my buddy actually hid a fox body set for me and i just never went to go pick it up because it was kind of far so i missed out on it hewitt what's up hot wheels homies he says i'm very late to the party it is all good buddy later is better than not showing up so kina says what up yo We have Acme supermarkets near me that charges three times as much for any Mattel products. Yeah, um, I know Nas usually hits up Acme. I've always wanted to go there because every time Nas posts a video of his Acme, they have like the Taj Mahal of freaking Hot Wheels displays there. Finished my coffee. And now I have nothing to drink with my little sugar thingies. 
Michelle Bill said, do you have the Magic 8 Ball Roger Dodger? Yes, I have the Super and the main line of it. Safeway near me, five packs. $13? My God. I thought my Safeway was bad. Ours are like $9. Acme is the Kroger of the North. Okay. Rapid says, I find it how funny Derek... I find it funny how Derek's dinky target is bigger than all of our tar biggest supermarkets. <laughs> Safeway is expensive. I don't I try not to buy anything from Safeway because like their Hot Wheels are like a dollar thirty nine. And then even when you're a member, it's still like a dollar ten. Rico says the Magic Eight Ball Roger Dodger still trying to piece that collection together. I was going to buy the Monster Truck Roger Dodger because it came with the actual orange Roger Dodger exclusive to match the Monster Truck, but I left it. Our five packs are five five dollars. Yeah, that's how much ours are. Louis or Luis? Sorry if I butcher it. What's the best way to communicate with me? Either hit me up on my Instagram, which is Mustang Hunter Diecast, or email me at J. Let me just write it down. Whatever. Mm. All right, J. It's on the back of some new pliers I just bought, but it's J Man Olive One at Yahoo.com. Hit me up on there. Monster Jam, Zachary Allen, what's up, my man? Keenut says, Stupid Twin Mill ran the gauntlet and Juan T is now track champion. I know, that Corvette. Would have never thought the Corvette was going to be the winner of that at all. Stefan from Germany, three Roger Dodger main, line, main lines found. Nice. So, yeah, guys, stay tuned for my upload later on tonight. Um, I got a really cool package from Raymond and Mike's Diecast. Mike's Customs, those, those are, those are beautiful, man. If you're still on here, those are beautiful. Seven pounds for a premium. How much is that in U.S. dollars? Ferris Fines, what's up? Happy Sunday to you as well. Um, Michelle Bill says, how do you get the regular Roger Dodger 8 ball? I can't find it anywhere. It's just knowing which case it's released from and then when you see that case being dropped, just stay on top of that store because most likely they have more in the back. It's just timing. You have to really, really hunt. Hewitt says, seven pounds, how do you carry a wallet? <laughs> seven pounds is almost 10 US dollars. God, that's expensive. Uh, EJ says, Corvettes are only good for straight line tracks. Might as well get rid of the steering wheel. <laughs> hmm. Customizer, what's up, my man? Static, my dude. He says, what's up, Mustang Hunter? Just found the Mustang Funny Car Treasure Hunt. Nice. Taki's Car Addiction, what's up? Oscar, are you still looking for the 510 Datsun Mainline? No. Um, I found my one, and then I got one in a package. So, no, I'm good on those. Thank you. Black Cat says, I thought California is expensive, but man, UK seems pricey. Yeah. Um, Louis says, thank you. If I pick up the M2 green Fox body, I will contact you. I passed it up three sets. Man, 
On my way to El Paso from Dallas. I don't like driving through El Paso. That place is like, I don't know. It's like foggy and miserable and desolate. And yeah, I hate driving through El Paso. Static says, have you found KK's? Nope. We're still kind of like on H and a little bit of J. Um, Rapid says, I wonder if you have any Mustang 2 Cobra 2s in your collection. Can you show them? <laughs> That's messed up, man. That is messed up. Stay tuned, though. I'm, I'm getting my hands on on some. <laughs> that's, a, that's a dirty move there, Aaron. Matchbox Safari Porsche is a cool design, yeah. Mike says, thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Glad you like them. I loved them. And, you know, while they are, while you guys are here, you, I mean, hopefully you still watch my upload. Um, but... I'm going to go ahead and show you the customs that Mike sent me. So first one is signature to his channel. It's a beautiful green. Absolutely love it. But it's the 510. Look at that. That is a beautiful green. You got the black 10 spokes. Look at that. That gloss finish. That is a beauty. So definitely love this green. Uh, you gotta let me know what green it is because I was trying to figure out on camera and I was like, I don't know what to really describe it as. But it's a very nice green. That is super nice. And then, let's see, let's catch up on some. Do you have the Dior 2 treasure hunt? Yes, I found two of them. Uh, the Mustang 2 is from Charlie's Angels. Yeah, that one. The one that freaking rapid always rubs in my face. <laughs> Are you going to look for the Super Treasure Hunt Porsche? Um, and would you trade for the Super 510? I want to get my hands on both, really. Thank you, Luis. He says, great channel. Um, yeah, I'd say mint or teal. Rapid says it's Sharpie green. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to have to buy the Porsche 356 off of... No, Eric, do not. Everybody tell, tell, tell King not, not to buy a Super off eBay. Don't do that. Just trade for it. Um, so the next custom that Mike sent is a 70s Celica. And this color is super clean as well. Check this out. This is a satin gray finish. Look at that, you got the white 10 spokes and that just looks super clean. Look at that, Dotson Man Diecast, what is up? You must have just recently heard the 510 and that's why you popped in. Um, but yeah, this satin gray looks really good. Look at that, that is clean. Not only did he send those, I'll, I'll leave this one last, but they sent the custom La Troca as well. And this is a glossed finish of that asphalt gray or a slate gray. Look at that. And I'm pretty sure you blacked out those windows. I'm, I think on the original casting, they're like a really dark tinted brown. These things are blacked out. Look at that. Rapid says, I still haven't gotten my hands on that dang Celica. Yeah. And I've actually been seeing a lot of them now. And then the last one, guys. The last one is a beautiful color. And it's the 2020 GT500. Check this out. Look at those wheels he put on there. It's got a nice staggered stance. You got the fat boys in the back. And the smaller ones up front. Nice staggered look. This is very, very similar, and I was talking about it in my video, uh, which you'll see later on tonight. This is very similar, or maybe it's the exact color that I did Dotson Man's 510 wagon. It looks very, very blue on camera, but it is a more of a teal. And this thing looks beautiful, man. This is nice. This is very, very nice. Those wheels, I don't know where you got them, but those look really sweet. 
Terrell Pickens says, what's up? What did I miss? All right, quick recap. I got the DeLorean from Back to the Future 3. It lights up. It's got blue lights. Super cool. I found, <laughs> I found the Strato, the Lancia mystery model that I was looking for to go with the red first edition I found. We noticed some variations of castings and retoolings on it. So that was kind of like a quick just recap. Um, and then I was just going over the sweet customs that Mike's diecast sent over, um, which will be in my video later on tonight. So we got the 2020 GT500, the Latroca, the Celica, and the 510. Look at that. Live or die cast, or live or die cast. Says, hello everyone, what is up? I'm currently cooking, but I had to sneak in real quick. Hope all is well with my peeps. Thank you for tuning in, my man. Um, Customizer says, I was thinking of doing a C8 custom, but I don't know, do it. I'm definitely gonna do one on um, the C7 and the C8R. So definitely do one, man. Max's birthday is coming up June 14th. Happy early birthday because I will forget Ask my buddy Mike. I am sorry we forgot, but let's everyone say happy birthday to my buddy Mike Martello, also known as Helmet Diecast. His birthday was the fourth, so everyone say happy birthday. So Mike, happy happy late birthday from us, the Mustang Hunter family, to you. Um, let's see. You got. Nah, it says very nice paint jobs on those customs. Yeah, definitely. The beautiful color choices. Um, great wheel swaps. Definitely thought they were great. Uh, anyone need a 2021 Fast and Furious Mustang? Got one for trades. No, I'm pretty good on those. And they're actually kind of being more um, abundant these days. There we go. Everyone's saying happy birthday. Thank you all. Look at that, Mike. You're getting all the love. Happy birthday. Everyone's saying happy birthday to Mike. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Rapid says, I already have. Stop yelling at me. <laughs> Mike supports me. I support him. Yeah, Michael is a great guy. He definitely is. Keynut, how can I contact you outside of YouTube and Instagram? Um, post a 356 Super Treasure Hunt on eBay, he will get a hold of you. <laughs> Keynut says, I have some sweet customs coming from Nas. Can't wait till they get here. Yep. That's going to be a good one. Nas makes some good stuff. The new Fast and Furious set is awesome. Keynut, yeah. Keynut knows. If you put a Porsche Super Treasure Hunt, he's going to go on eBay and look. Because he has the worst the worst luck on trying to get his hands on supers but it's because he doesn't hunt like I do I hunt all the time it's it's getting kind of scary on how much I'm out there freaking looking all the time it definitely takes work I'd imagine Michael House now being the scene of KF Hardy Hardy Potter what I don't even know what the heck you're talking about <laughs> Liver die cast. I was so stoked to find the 356 Outlaw Super Treasure Hunt. Just rub it in King Nut's face. <laughs> yes, man. I, I hope I find it. I know I'm going to find it. I know I will. It's just being patient. Ken says, King Nut, I do have a 356 Super for trade if you want to. Uh oh. Was King Nut going to have to give up for that? Max can't find J case. Just be patient, man. Every case eventually comes out. Fia Vang. Yeah, like he says, Mad Vision says, and it takes a lot of gas. That's why I only hunt in my line of travel to work. I'm here doing some Lambos until I get some rubbers. Nice. Um, so I'm doing a custom for... Adrian over at Big A's Diecast and he wanted an aquamarine blue or some type of spectra flame color and I looked everywhere for a metal cast color that would be close to it but the only thing I was able to find was this bright aqua metallic and this is also a dupla color 
you see bright bright aqua metallic and it's actually a GM color um, and I'm doing a 71 Dodge Charger because that is his favorite year charger um, I wish I can showcase it to you but I don't know if he's gonna watch so I don't want to showcase it just yet but this thing looks really good I think I think it's I mean it's dark but I really hope he can appreciate it uh, man that color though yeah that and that uh, metal cast color is just beautiful Max says I have good cars though oh nice just got back from a die cast show nice man Did you score anything I hope you did I want to put some uh, nice real rider wheels on this 510 right here EF super for 25 bucks that's not bad man those EF hatches are super hard to get your hands on 25 bucks isn't bad um, I went that antique mall I went to the guy originally had the um, the 599 Ferrari super I think it was the 599 and he had it for 20 bucks 20 bucks and I was like ah uh, not right now oh big A's die cast he says que pasa homie I'm glad you're tuning in now because I was just going over your custom and I'm glad I haven't showcased it because I don't want you to see your car yet but I was showing the color while you're on here Adrian um, I tried looking everywhere for a bright aqua metallic a spectra flame color um, or anything like that and the only color I was able to get my hands on was this bright aqua metallic right here it's a GM color it's an actual GM color um, so that's what I did on your custom and I hope you like it I hope you really like it I know you said eventually just do whatever color but I, I still wanted to get it in the color that you want and the color that you like Big A says, that works, brother. Nice. So, yeah, I was about to really tempted to showcase your, your car so far. But I'm going to hold off since you're in the stream because I really don't want you to see it yet. But I'm almost done with that. And then once I finish your uh, custom, then I'm going to move on to the 300ZX Restore, which is this one. Because I got to redo this. Uh, Monster Jam found a super treasure hunt on eBay for 35 doll hairs. Ugh. I don't know if I would pay anything over 20, 25 bucks. Rapid says, should I buy a baby doll and saw its hands off with a wood saw? <laughs> Gary Slant says, Tester's Candy Blue might work. Yeah, it probably would. Um, but I don't have a Hobby Lobby near me that usually carries the Tester's paint like that. Um... <laughs> Big A says, okay, I'll take off and that you can showcase it. <laughs> nope, not going to do that, man. I don't want you to see it yet because I want it to be... I don't want you to see it at the stage that it's at now, but it's completely painted and detailed. Um, I'm just working on a couple little things and tweaks, and it should be done. Jim Schrute, did you get the Rari? No. Okay, yeah, so sorry. I kind of lost track there. So anyways, he had the Super for 20 bucks. I was like, not today. I'll come back tomorrow because it was going to be 20% off. Um, they had a huge 20% off sale over the Memorial Day weekend. I went back. There was like nine collectors, and it was gone. Gone. I. That's what I say, man. If you see a car that you want, buy it then and there, and don't ask questions, unless it's like super expensive. But I was literally waiting just to get the 20% off sale the next day, and it was gone. I should have known. Dotson says, uh, or he's telling, where's the meatloaf? Mad Visions, that's nuts. Yes, 20 bucks. He had that one and the old school Ferrari Roadster. It's a metallic silver with a red stripe. I don't know which Ferrari it is, but it's an old school Roadster. And he has that one for like 12 bucks. But I'm not really sold on getting that one. Uh, Michelle Bill says, do you have the Zamac Mustang 2 plus 2 Fastback? I do. It is right over here with all my other Zamax. Let's see. Jorge Delgado says, uh, what do you say? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Buy it or stash it at a store. Yeah, but the 
cars that I was talking about, like the Ferrari Supers, were behind a case, and then the employee takes it up to the front for you to buy. Um, but yeah, here's that two plus two Zamac, and then all my other two plus twos are over there. But yeah, so twenty bucks. And I was telling my wife, like, oh, I should have just bought it. Should have just bought it. And she's like, you should have. Um, Stigmata says, I scored three Ferraris for a buck a piece today at the flea market. Nice. Rapid says, I have Stockholm Syndrome. Can you please showcase the GTR set? <laughs> Do you really want to see it again? <laughs> Uh, Big A says, I would love whatever you sent me, bro. I appreciate custom cars more than anything because people, you guys put a lot of thought. Love you, bro. Yes, I appreciate you, man. Um, but still, I wanted to make a custom that, of course, a color that you love. Um, so it's close, but it, it I think it's a beautiful color, especially in the light. Yeah, it's a really nice color. It's a little darker than the lid actually says, so... Might be a little darker shade, um, but it still looks really, really good. Michelle Bill, do you have the Tesla Starman? Yes. <laughs> I love when I get asked if I have something and I have it. So I have the Tesla space car, and then right behind it I have the one with the Starman in it. So there's those two. Got the one with the Starman and then the one that's orbiting. I think this was an exclusive. I heard it was an exclusive. There we go. There we go. Ugh. Back to my bench. Let's put this tripod back down. Big A says, okay, how about a quick glimpse and that's it. All right, man. I will do this for you and you only because you're requesting it. So let me put the car back together real quick because it's right here all right so I really hope you like this man let me got guys let me know what you think about it um, but it's the 71 Dodge Charger let's see I got the Starman car today too nice all right here we go so I got some work to do still but this is the aqua metallic you got the blacked out. It's actually a painted black metallic with the tail lights and everything in there. And look at that. Look at that color. Got the window trim. I just got to do some minor touches. Put some nice wheels on it and she is done. Black interior. So there we go. She will be done soon. So Adrian, I really hope you like it. I hope you guys like the color. Um, if you don't remember, this is the yellow one. It came out in yellow with the red and black and yellow flames on it. Chrome interior, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's how she's looking. So Adrian, I really do hope you like it. Um, I'm gonna do some polishing work on it, get it a nice, as close as I can glass finish. And yeah. Nas says the color suits the car very well. Yeah, I think so too. I think it looks really good. Some of these castings, I think they should just bring out in close to factory colors. But yeah, that's that one. Um, man, Hobby Lobby has been doing me good when it comes to hunting. Plenty of stangs and green light chases. Nice. I never go to Hobby Lobby. Um, I rarely get green lights. Liver Diecast says, Woo! Like Ric Flair. He says, That thing is sick. Thank you. Big A says he loves it. I hope you do. Uh, when I'm finished with it, I, I'm putting on some nice wheels on this bad boy. But yeah, definitely going to get it a nice polished finish because I want that thing to be beautiful for you because, I mean, it's the least I can do for you, man. Um, Jason, Mark asked you a question. What's up above?
Mad Vision says, okay, got to find some food, getting hungry. Good luck and safe hunting, everyone. All right, man, I appreciate you tuning in. Dotson Man says, at one point I had 30 exclusive Starmans. Jesus. <laughs> Pranoy says, what's on, what's going on, bro? What is up? The Ferrari Corgi Mark found this, found is sick. Oh man, I missed that. Um, Jay says, how much do you charge for a custom? I don't charge for customs at all. Um, right now I'm doing it for people that have sent me stuff or have gifted me things and I'm just doing this in return. Um, but I don't, I don't think my work is good enough to charge. I'm still getting my hands wet in it. Um, but yeah, like this Nova Gaster that I did, um, a lot of people liked it. I love it. It came out really, really good. These are the wheels from the Twin Mill. And I think it just came out really, really nice. But of course, like this, I'm not going to sell because I think it's just a very basic. Um, custom Max Cruz got the moon eyes bike nice big a says if that's the least I can only imagine what would be the most <laughs> oh just wait buddy that 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 car is nowhere near dumb but I just wanted to get, show you where it's at right now Um, Mike says that's freaking awesome. That wagon looks cool with those wheels on it. Yeah, Hewitt, you got to get yourself some of those twin mills. Take the wheels off it because I know you love doing these gassers and those red line wheels with those mag styles look great. So this was just a test to see how it would look. Um, definitely wanted to try out that color. So I might use those wheels for something else. Um, nice gasser. Thank you so much. I'm not sure if this is true, but Hot Wheels is releasing the Tesla Cybertruck in the future. I think I've heard that, but I've only seen the giant remote one. Ken says, Rapid Nismo, you got the GTR set? No, he doesn't. He don't have it. Just like I don't have his Mustang too. he don't have the GTR set. Francisco Silva says, cheers from Canada. What is up? Cheers right back at you. Dodger Diecast, how come I never get a response from you in the stream? I apologize, but there's a lot of comments that I'm trying to stay uh, stay caught up with. Let me know what your question was and I'll get to it. Have you seen the Cheech and Chong Impala Customs? Uh, no, I haven't seen those. <laughs> Mike Martell is laughing. <laughs> Cyber truck is an in case. Jay says also thank you for sending me good luck last time I found the Civic Type R Super and the 510. Nice. Congrats, man. That's awesome. Do you have any Moon Eyes cars? Um, I do. Only a few though. I got the bike, the Bone Shaker. Uh, I had the '63 Chevy couple other ones but I can't think of them on the top but I only have a few Charles Jones says dang it I want some of those snacks yeah these are good this is from the Filipino store Kingna says you have to be a speed reader to keep up on everyone's comments that is absolutely true Adrian says do you have any Dodge Hellcats um I did at one point, but I only had one, and it was the Charger, but I don't have it anymore. I have the Demons, but I don't have any Hellcats. Mike Martell says, BJ's wholesale market has Hot Wheel RC cars for 10 bucks again. Nice. Max Cruz, how many cars do you have? Well, I take a picture of everything that I have. That way I can reference it on my phone. And my camera says 1,600. But I know a couple of those are duplicates. So I think like 1,400 cars. 1,500. 
Always loved love Dodge. My dad had my dad had a scat pack. Nice. Um, Taki's car. I have two request Hot Wheels. One is bring actual Formula Drift driver cars as premiums. Yes. And two, bring back the new dot, the new Edge Stang. Yes. Big A says, "Oh, there are two Adrians in the house. Cool." <laughs> Ken, you in the U.S. Rapid? No, uh, Rapid's over there in England. That's why he doesn't get his hands on a lot of the stuff that we have here. Black Cat, do you do you think they'll ever bring the Viper back for Hot Wheels or a real car? Rapid says England, Ken. It sucks for Hot Wheels. <laughs> The real car? Mm, yeah, they'll bring it back. There's so many cars that a lot of companies said they'll never bring back, and they bring back. But I don't know. Well, they did get rid of the Dodge Demon. You got the Hellcat, but they don't have their Halo car. So they might bring it back. I think they will. If they do, it's going to be electric, I can tell you that. Um, I have a Hellcat Super Treasure. Nice. I'd like to see that. Do you think we can expect to see the 400Z in mainline? Oh, 100%. If you're seeing the GR Supra, yeah, you're going to definitely see the 400Z. Would you give up Ruby for a 93 Cobra? Absolutely, man. But it had to be a real 93 Cobra. There's a lot of Cobra clones out there. But yeah, I would definitely give mine up for a 93 Cobra. I don't love my car that much. <laughs> I mean, I love my car, but a 93 Cobra, yeah, respectable. Ken says, oh, man, Rapid, was hoping you were in the U.S. so I can send you the set. Oh, Rapid, so close, buddy. So close. Adrian says, I want them to make more drag cars. It, yeah, I agree. Um, the GTOs, a lot of people don't like. Um, I don't know why, but some just didn't get the concept of how the Super Duty was with the big big wheel small wheel uh, variation with the drag setup a lot of people didn't like it they thought it was weird um, some people thought it was an error for having the skinny tires up front I don't know um, but I definitely think they need to bring drag cars back rapid says the stupid set evades me on may evades me one more time max has a Mustang in real life nice what year what body style big a says I love GTOs yeah they need to bring those castings back as well. Uh, Taki says, I miss my brother's 2009 45th anniversary GT with the glass roof. Yep, I remember when those glass tops came out. My Mach 1 was a 40th. It was an 04. Um, 08 was the green bullet. 09 was the black bullet. And I remember having the glass top, and I was like, man, that's nice. 2020 Shelby, nice, dude. That's a, that is a freaking beast of a car. Uh, Lance Graham says I found four cars from H Case. I needed from Fred Myers. Nice. Uh, Adrian, I want them to make a yellow recolor of the GTO. My dad had a yellow 2006. That'd be sweet. That'd be super sweet if they did yellow. Everything looks good in yellow. You do anything in yellow, it looks really good. Um, like, like a Porsche, just cause I have it right here. Porsche in yellow looks amazing. You got Dodge Viper in yellow, looks super sweet. Even this old Fox body right here, T-top, looks sweet in yellow. Everything looks good in yellow. So yeah, if they brought the GTO back in yellow, it'd be a great recolor. Um, I seen a blue 2020 GT500 yesterday at the car wash. They're really nice. Yeah, there's a there's a young airman on base that has a um, like a dark mineral gray GT500, and he has the carbon package and all that stuff. He paid 109 grand for it. God, that's insane. Josh, Josh, is it Josh Mitchell or Michael? I think it's Mitchell. Josh Mitchell says, "Yo, what's up?" Um, Porsche in brown looks great. Like this. Boom. It's 
funny how I actually have a brown Porsche. Like, out of all the colors and brand, the Porsche in brown. Yeah, it looks good, too. Cool Dude Extreme, what is up? EJ's Workshop says, ew. <laughs> Big A agrees there's something about yellow. It goes with everything. Yes, it does. It looks so good. So many things look good in yellow. Uh, just joined the stream. My Walmart sucks and never gets good stuff. They have B and C cases. Oh, my God. That is so far back. But the only, the only good thing about getting old cases sometimes is getting casts that you either passed up or missed out on. Um, it's not always a bad thing, but yeah, when you see it all the time, like constant, like, okay, you can stop bringing out B and C case. Yeah, it does get old. Um, Rapid says, I agree on yellow before Nissi. We had a yellow juke 1.5 diesel it was really good spec on it. Known as the big friendly org <laughs> because it had BFO in the license plate. <laughs> Adrian, I have a custom Silverado with killer exhaust. Nice. Yellow with black stripes is a killer combination. I'm trying to think, what else do I have that's yellow with black stripes? Uh, let's see. We have this really nice pearlescent yellow, Mercedes AMG GT3. Love this one. I'm trying to get it on there. You can't really see the pearlescent color in it, but this thing is super clean. Yellow make a Yugo look good. <laughs> I hate scalpers. Yes, we all do, buddy. We all do. Uh, Jay says you got the yellow Acura Integra. Ah, luckily, all these are in reach. A little dusty, but yes. This also looks great with the Type R red interior. Oh yeah, this thing is nice. Love the spoon style hood on there. I'm making my first custom a Mustang. I love the AMG GT. Yes, that thing is sweet looking. Uh, Taki got my Legend Cars Tour square body in the mail. Oh man, that thing is nice. That thing is super nice. Uh, white 2021 Corvette just zoomed by. Those things are beautiful, man. There's a lady that lives in my neighborhood that has a white one with a tan interior. God, that thing looks so exotic. Yes, like Rapid says, like the live stream, everybody. Hopefully, I'll do. Um, it's a Sunday thing we do, guys. Welcome to the Scalpers Haters Club. <laughs> Hey, can you show the difference between a premium and a mainline? All right, uh, let's see. Where are my premiums at? Let's see. All right. Since I have this right here too. So this is the mainline City Turbo 2. It's got the aero discs on there. No detail at all. No headlights, no taillights. Got the plastic base. Now this is the premium. Honda City Turbo. You have the rubber wheels, the real riders, a metal base, and then you got the full detail. Check that out. Headlights, fog lights, turn signals, even the rear. You have the Honda badging. Everything just looks really good. So much better when you get a premium. So look at that, guys. If you're ever wondering if you should spend the extra few dollars on a premium, Absolutely, look at that. Huge difference. Go from generic to really nice. <laughs> Where's the backup camera? <laughs> Rapid says, I love that thing. Yes, I love that thing. These things are really, really cool. Um, is it worth five bucks on a premium? Yes. Um, I wouldn't pay more than five. I know some places are like eight bucks, nine bucks. But yeah, five, five bucks, six bucks. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're getting great quality. You got full metal base, full detail. You don't have to do the detail yourself. And these ones are a lot harder to come by because 
premiums are usually the ones that everyone wants because of the quality. Um, Josh says, you got any M2 cars or Matchbox? <laughs> I have a lot of M2s. Um, Matchbox is growing. I have a lot of Matchbox Mustangs. Um, but just let me know which M2 Mustangs or cars you want to look at and I'll show you. Funny enough, all KF the Jukes have, uh, we have owned, all had rear cameras. Nice. Max has 3,500 cars. Jesus. All right. What are the questions or showcase cars do you guys want to look at? I'm trying to find some real riders for this um, Chevelle I have. So it was on one of my um, uploads of a mail call I got. I got a 70 Chevelle. It was just the body. And it came in this really cool New Orleans police deco. Look at that. This is a really nice paint job. It It is almost like it has 2K clear on it. It's not just your standard clear coat. That white enamel has really good clear on it. Um, but this is a Kmart exclusive. I didn't realize it was a Kmart exclusive when it was sent to me. I was like, oh man, it has no wheels. So I always look up my cast or if someone sends me a loose car, I always try to look it up. Um, and it's a Kmart exclusive. The wheels were actually used on a custom that was sent in that same package. Um, but I definitely want to get this bad boy back to how it should look. Just needs wheels on it. Um, there's a new Matchbox Chevelle that's dope AF. Oh man, I need to get my hands on it. Josh Mitchell, do you know they're making a 12-pack donut drifter and a metallic pink one? Did you know that? No, I did not know that. Um, ADM, ADM X2 says, do you have a Chevy Silverado Trail Boss Zamac? I do not. I only have a few variations of those. Christina says, I can have it. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you were still in here so that you can be like, oh, I like it. I know. I definitely need to get some real riders on here. Cabochon, what is up, buddy? He says, make a video based on only your Zamax. All right, I will do that. Um, I've been thinking about doing a video specifically on certain castings or certain brands. Um, like I did before, I did uh, all my Cobras, I did all my Mustangs all my imports I did all those type of videos um, and the next one I'll do will be Zamax um, on the hunt for Cardi Asada uh, oh man I see those a bunch a bunch of times Mike says sending those Zamax out tomorrow nice man appreciate you my dude um, I went boating and the waves were two feet high Jeez. Adrian, make a video on your customs only. Well, I only have uh, three customs or four customs I've done. So it'd be a really short video. But I could do that. I could definitely do that. <laughs> Rapid says, for the love of me, I can't find EJ's email. I have over 75 cars in my collection just in my shelf. Nice. Uh, Josh Mitchell says, do you have the fresh 400, fresh 400 blue McLaren? Uh, you must be talking about the factory 500. Yes, I have that one. Taki says, do you have any old variations of the, or the old castings of the R32? Um, I do but only like three the gray one i can't remember the other colors if you want to see them we can go check them out adrian says have you ever made a diorama um i started making one and i haven't even finished it yet it's a parking lot um i did the painting lines i did the asphalt did all that but i haven't put like buildings and stuff but i definitely need to charles jones says hey i'm about to jump off have have do my custom paint job right now. Love you, bro. All right, man. Appreciate you tuning in. Good luck on that custom. Hope that paint job comes out like candy. Um, can you show me all the blacked cars? Uh, like 
black cars in general or the blacked out series because i have a target for, i think it's a 96 exclusive all blacked out edition set max went to heb oh you must live in texas <laughs> went to heb i found the big banana car but something was missing huh josh you have any ids yep i have a tower of ids and then i got my id chase cars down here uh do you have any matchbox 75 challenges uh let's see no i do not i have the red one i used to have both variations of the gold when i was a kid nice all right liver diecast says it's time to eat good night everyone happy hunting you you <clears throat> definitely appreciate you tuning in buddy why do all youtubers say in their title shippers stupid i don't know what that why do all youtubers say in their title shippers stupid? i don't know i don't know what you're trying to say um they all the all blacked out <laughs> king ness says what is your fifth favorite car in your collection <laughs> you would ask an odd question like that what is my fifth top three homie top three i don't track anything else after that um that's hard man because there's so many cars that are just everything in my collection is my top top car <laughs> it's hard to really filter that out uh do you like the donut shifter uh not a not a fan of it adrian asks do you have the punisher van no i don't i keep passing that up cabochon in toronto canada we can't buy any hot wheels because of covid and it's been a full month and a half jesus and have you have you gotten your cars yet god i'm i'm really wanting you to get your box i really need you to get that man uh, Lance says, seen the Spectre Flame Gold Mustang Super selling for 60 to 100 on eBay, of course. God, that's crazy. For a dollar car, selling it for that much. Customizer Diecast says, just show all the customs. I mean, yeah, I have most of my display up top is all customs. So I, I could do that. Funny how you would ask a specific question. <laughs> All right, Alan, appreciate you stopping in, man. Have a good night. Lance is also looking for the Barbie Dream Camper. Are you the one that keeps asking me about that? Because, um, yeah, that one day I found like 30 of them. They're all gone. Taki says, I almost forgot. Have you realized that what's missing on the Fast and Furious Eclipse Premium, the decal and the hood? Yeah, the modern image. I think they can't use modern image anymore. I think that's why it's not on the hood. Rapid says, when are any die cast manufacturers going to make a 164 juke that's not overpriced, Tomica? Matchbox should make the Nismo RS in black. You know, I'm really surprised they don't. I mean, they make other castings like the Dodge Neon and the Mercury Cougars. Not like the old Cougars, but like the newer Cougars and the Eclipses and stuff. Adrian, what is your worst car ever? Uh, it's the art car. Let me just let me just show you because this thing is hideous. But I have it anyways. It is this coupe right here. That thing is hideous. And the next one after that are these right here. But yes, that sixty that that coupe right there, the sixty-seven coupe, is probably the worst. Um, Josh Mitchell says I haven't seen the Scooby Doo van yet only a lot of Ninja Turtle vans um, I actually put those in here because I have more castings down in this box uh, there's a dream camper that Big A gave, gave me for my daughter I haven't given it to her yet there's the Scooby Doo van I haven't given it to her yet because she, every car that I've given her so far, she's ruined. 
All right, let's put this cover back on. All right. Show me your favorite muscle car. Oh man, that's very broad. Um, geez, I mean, if you want to talk about my favorite muscle car, it would have to be the Mustang, but casting wise, oh man. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, King Nut's like Chevelle SS, which it is, he's not, he's not lying. The Chevelle SS is my favorite muscle car. Um, it's my dream car. Ironically, and I'm, I'm the Mustang Hunter. Where did I put it? It's a tie between this one and that one. Man, that's that's a hard one. But it's it's one of the Chevelles. The Chevelles for sure. Um, I know I have a premium Chevelle right up here. That is super clean. Actually, all of these, man. Chevelles for sure. Nah, it says, talk to you later. Good, sir. Got to do my own one of these. All right, nice, man. Appreciate you tuning in. EJ says, Mustang Hunter plays with Barbie Camper when he's done filming. <laughs> yes, I do. That's why it's in the box, so no one knows that I play with it. Taki says, S13 Sylvia or the 180SX. I would take the Sylvia for sure. Rapid says, oh, Mustang hates the ruby red Mustangs driven by buff army dudes. <laughs> Max Cruz, what is your favorite car? 70 Chevelle. 70 Chevelle is my favorite muscle car. Um, but as far as Mustangs go, uh, anything between 65 and 67, maybe a little 68s. Um, but I love the 65s the coupes just look amazing this one it, as far as my premiums go this one's my all-time favorite premium coupe right here this thing is beautiful the, the camera is like super dirty i need to wipe it real quick hold on it's like hold on let me wipe it all right that's a little better yeah it was kind of Hiding the red. Um, Cavishon says, "No, I haven't gotten it yet, but my but I did my research on our location. It said around to 11 to 20 days for the package." Jesus, what's your most expensive Hot Wheel? Um, man. I've never paid a lot of money for my cars. Either I've bought them in store when they were only a dollar or I traded for them. But I would think, oh man, I don't know what my, I think my most valuable Cobra, because I was looking this up the other day, out of all my 98 Cobras, this one is worth the most. This is worth 22 bucks. 22 bucks for that. That is crazy, and out of the box, it's 11. Um, but I know I have some valuable ones here. I just don't know which ones, because I've never paid extreme prices for anything in here. But yeah, what else we got? I got a rare piece for y'all. I have to dig it out and make sure I want to get rid of it. All right, like you don't have to, but I'd like to see what it is just to see it. Adrian says, bye. All right, man. Peace. Appreciate you tuning in. Ow. Got a drill bit right in my foot. Uh, Rapid says, I love it that the Chevelle has escaped the weight reducing thing. It's still heavier than a rock. Yes, it's very heavy. Lance says, have you seen the HKS van Hot Wheels set? I have the HKS van. Um talking about the mbk van yeah i have that customizer says i'm slanging customs bro my kids need be needing snacks <laughs> ttv hornet slayer says hey i found a golf porsche rubber tire is it worth anything treasure hunt yes if it's the new little 356 um 
Outlaw, that's the super treasure hunt, and yeah, it's, I mean, people sell it for a lot of money, but that's crazy if you have that. That's a hard one to find. Gold Metallic 99 First Edition Number 4 Chevelle SS. I think I have that. Well, I have a, uh, I have a gold metallic, but I don't think it's a first edition. Mm. Santiago says, hey, you got the Mustang that I said, but mine has five spoke wheels. Which one? Do you have any of the Redline Club cars? Um, I only have one, and it was actually gifted to me by Adrian or Ivan over at 55 Gasser. This one. This is beautiful. There's a number right there. It's number 7258. Um, yeah, I do want to trade, says TTV Hornet Slayer. Depends on what you're looking for. <laughs> Mike says about the 356 or the Porsche says, no, it's worth nothing. Mail it to King Nut. He'll verify. <laughs> Customizer says, how much is the Veyron I got? Which one? Um, that matte colored one. All right, King Nut. Peace out, brother. I'll see you later. Yes, this thing is very stunning. It's beautiful. Yeah, I never thought I'd get my hands on this, but Ivan was generous enough to send me this. He is freaking amazing. That's why when I sent him a box back, I had to send him a bunch of stuff. That way I don't feel super guilty. Uh, TTV Hornet Slayer, well, I just started collecting and I want to grow. Nice, man. Definitely grow. keep growing. Jim Shroot, could you show the Veyrons? Um, I only have one. Hmm. I only have this one, which is that metallic metal flake black or metal flake gray. It's got the chrome J5s, and then I have the blue one out of the exotics pack. Oh, the red and black one. I think that one's pretty rare, but I don't think it's worth like crazy money. Um, Max Cruz, what rare car do I have? Um, it's kind of hard because I have a lot of cars that are not easy to find, but rare car. Um, I would, oh man, I don't know. I would have to say, man, I don't think I have a rare, rare car. Like a super limited car. I don't have anything like that. I have a lot of mainline cars that are so old that it's hard to find, but nothing, nothing crazy. Diecast tube, what's up? Rico, red lines? Mm. I got the 69 Cougar Eliminator. This one's a beautiful cast. I just dropped my screw. Um, I have, Jesus, I have the 68 Nova red line. Um, 
This thing's also beautiful too. Um, I have a few other ones kind of displayed around. Let's just take you around. Let's see, I got, let's see, I know I have another red line somewhere around here. Um, nope. Got this red line 63 split window. It's got real riders on it. And then coming around over here, I need to find this Mach. I have a Mach 1 of this color, but with the red line because it's a Walmart exclusive. Where is it? Uh, I think it's over here. So I got that one. And then I do have this poor thing is just hiding up here. This is an old red line. 67 it's a 2018 release not not old old but it's just a re-release um do you have the green light home alone 68 caprice no i don't but i always see it on pegs appreciate you ttv hornet what's the smallest hot wheels you got the Honda City Turbo. No, no, no. Actually, I lie. I just got this one. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where did I put it? Um. God, where did I put it? Okay, bear with me, guys. I'm looking for one of my smallest freaking... Oh, there it is. This one. I know Kingnut would like it. Little bitty monster truck. I think this is my smallest Hot Wheel. <laughs> this thing is tiny. Look at that. Oh, and the little Mustang Fastback. Don't eat the chocolate. <laughs> this wasn't in the pack with the chocolates. This one wasn't. That weird car was. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I got my Wheel Error, Johnny, Joey Logano. Christina, I got my cases up there. You know I had to protect those. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think, I think that's legit. If you're asking, like, legitimacy, that is my smallest Hot Wheel right there. That thing is tiny. <laughs> little Monster Truck Bone Shaker. Yep, that was a little mystery box one that I got. There was one video where this guy took like 15 or 20 Zamac Bugatti Chirons at Walmart like the guy made sure he had all of them. Jeez. Christina says, those look good up there. Yes, they do. Nice front and center, right where they should be. Beautiful cars. Do you have any Mustang sets? Um, yes, I have all of them. I have the 45th anniversary mustang set right here which has the 2007 the 98 the 92 fox the 99 and the 65 coupe i got the 50 year anniversary which is right here and then this one from my buddy mike at helmet diecast hooked me up with that first release of the mustang pack Got the beautiful Mach 1, the GT, the 65 convertible, the 98 Cobra, and the 68 tuned. And then I have the Shelby 5 pack, which has all the Shelbys in it. And the four decades of pony power. Those are my Mustang packs. Yeah, the Silver Series, man. Those things are freaking beautiful. And I seen this at the antique store. It was loose. They still wanted like seven bucks for it. A color swing Hot Wheels is a light color or it could be a dark color. Yes. Um, I do have a color swing. 
or I did have a color swing of the little Repu. I had a darker version of it. I don't have it anymore. You need the dump truck variation with the silver dump. Yeah, I know. I heard a lot of people were telling me that that there is another variation where this dump bed is actually silver. Uh, TTV Hornet Slayer says, so how can you trade random humans? You're talking about like how I trade with people? There will variations of the Woody also. Oh, thanks for telling me that. Now I'm going to go down that freaking rabbit hole of trying to find those variations. <laughs> EJ's like, random humans? <laughs> no, I want my own human now. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I swear these streams go sideways real fast. You guys are awesome. You keep it entertaining for sure. Ah! Took a drill bit to the foot again. Ah, crazy. I don't see a yellow 55 gasser sticker up there with your stickers. I know, Hewitt's. Because the last one I think you sent was this one. So this is this is from you. This is from Derek Marr. Derek Marr, King Nut. Uh, this is from Oh, was that Tom Brown? And this is from Grandpa Larry. So yeah, I'm trying to put everyone's stickers on my workbench. That way you guys can be a part of it forever. Funny. No, because I have this sitting right here by my foot. It's not smart. But you would think by the second time I would move it. They gave me my ankle though. Um, Hewitt, so I haven't sent you one? No, you haven't. And you don't need to. You don't need to. I need to be cool, but you don't need to. Fordsman84, thanks for the graphic you made. No problem, buddy. Like I said, if you want any changes, just let me know. It took me like, it didn't take me that long to make that. ADMX2 says, what are you eating? Uh, it's like a flaky, like sugary thing. It's a, it's a little Filipino snack. Um, it's made out of ube, which is purple yam. It's really good. Yeah. It's just a little snack cookie thing. Wish I had something to drink. Things are drier than anything. Oh, yeah, I need to go... Got to go get a sticker up there with the others. I'm feeling left out. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah, because that's technically not your sticker, right? Like someone sent you that and then you sent it to me. Yeah. If you're talking about you personally, yes, you need your sticker up here. Now I just need some stickers. Yep. I'm still waiting on mine. I have a whole stack of Mustang Hunter diecast stickers and the no scalper stickers being made from work. Just waiting for those. Those stickers are forever until you move or sell the toolbox. Now, this workbench, never selling. And if I do, I'm literally unbolting that strip of metal and I'm keeping it. They can have the rest. <laughs> the customizer says, it's like you're eating your yard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Big A, that's 100% facts. He says, this is a very nice hobby, not a bad way to invest your money. It's not. I mean, it's cheap. And then you do trades, you meet people, you, be, you build friendships from all kinds of walks of life, different parts of the world. It's amazing. I mean, you're only spending a dollar for these mainline cars unless you go to like antique shops and you spend like two, four, maybe ten bucks. Uh, think about all the money we've spent on diecast toys. Shake my head. Yep. I think about that every time I ask my wife asks how many uh, Mustangs you, or how many cars do you have now. I'm like, should I give her the inflated number or should I give her the deficit number? <laughs> Ford's man, text me or you will get those. Uh, do you? 
All right, yeah, I'll text you. I'll text you. Uh, Max Cruz, do you do you have a lot of super treasure hunt cars? I have a good amount. Uh, I don't know if you're saying you do. Yes, and Rapid Nismo needs stickers. Static Crispy needs stickers. Everybody needs stickers on their channel, especially when we do trades with each other. I mean, you have to. What I'm planning on doing is when I get my scalper stickers, I'm going to go tag up some places, just slap it on the box and be like, no scalpers here. And just stick it everywhere. I'm going to put it on the front door of Target, the front door of Walmart. It says no scalpers. That's what I want to do. And if you see it in videos, you're going to know it's from me. Just, I'll deny it in case anyone ever asks. <laughs> oh, Max says, I don't have super treasure hunt cars. You just got to hunt, man. Uh, Big A says, the main line red lines are becoming rare, bro. Don't let go of them. Yep. Most of the cars that I have in here, uh, red lines and all that stuff, have been gifts. So I'm definitely not giving those away or trading. NASCAR guy, any extra red edition second wave for trades? Um, I think I only have the truck. I think that's the only extra I have. Yeah, I think I only have the truck, the power wagon. I think it's the only one I have extra of. EJ says, I'll make some stickers for all of you. Just look at my icon. Yeah, but we, let me know how much you charge. Because I would definitely like to get some more stickers made. Because I'm just waiting on my job to make them. I mean, we're getting them for free. We're utilizing our own resources. And I'm just waiting for the guy to just print them out for me. Two supers, gang. To static. <laughs> Do you have the M2 limos? Nope, I've passed those up. They're really cool, but no, I've passed those up. What about the gold GT500? What is the better one to have more? I got the Porsche from Publix. I don't know. The gold GT500 was my all time 2021 goal and I have it in my collection. So I am perfectly happy with that one. Rapid doesn't give anything that's been given to him either. Rare Dotson, what's up my man? Welcome to the stream. Joanne, I got 2017 Ford GT 2021 Hot Wheels J case. Nice. Hey, Rare Dotson, man. I was just talking about it earlier. Um, after I'm done with this 71 Charger, I am working on the car that I know you're waiting on. Right here is the 300ZX. Um, I don't know if you saw on my post. But I was really, I'm really trying to get it close to the original color and trying to find a really nice metallic purple isn't the easiest to find, but I'm using that metal cast. Jesus, this thing needs to go back together. I'm using the metal cast um, that I was testing out on the twin mill. So that is why I was testing this because that's the color this is going to be. I know it's not the same shade, but it's going to look super clean and super wet in this color. So, thought I would let you know that you're tuned in. Do you have the Moon Eyes Dodge Van? Yes, the yellow one. Um, I actually have it loose. Ugh. Talking about this one. The Ryu Asada. Yeah, this thing is really nice. Um, I think... This one's my favorite color variation, but my buddy Sammy did this wicked custom. Look at that silver metallic. The black front. I think looks nice. Uh, let's see. Yay, nice. You should do enamel yellow or blue or that purple. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the purple. I think that purple would look super good, but what'd you say? Uh, Yellow enamel, ooh, that's a good one because yellow looks good on everything. I'm only thinking because the, oh, I guess I can always paint the interior. Ooh, yellow though, a yellow 300? I think that would look super clean. All right, guys, comment comment down below. What color should this be? Should it go back to purple using the uh, metal cast or should it go yellow or blue? Let me know. 
Uh, Mustang, is there any cars you're looking for? I'm looking for M Mustangs and Mustangs. Um, there's so many Mustang variations I don't have and so many castings I don't have, but I'm not a picky collector. I appreciate all kinds of casts. Big A says that Mustang 5-pack is sweet, bro. Yes, those 5-packs are amazing. Diecast Tube, all right, man. Appreciate you tuning in. I need the Moon Eyes Drag Bus. Oh, that one, yes. That thing, yeah, no, I don't have that one. That thing is sweet, though. Black, pink, red. Yellow, Moon Eyes, very awesome. Candy red, that'd be a nice color to choose. Purple, customizer says the purple pops. It definitely does. Mustang Hunter, my Clippers won. Nice, man. Glad your team won that one. I don't even remember the last time they won anything. All right, got to go and drop some stickers in the mail. <laughs> nice, Hewitts. Hopefully uh, one of them's in there for me. <laughs> Most of the mainline 2121 Hot Wheels sets. I'm looking for our treasures and supers. All right, yeah. Christina says blue or purple. Rare Dotson says they never won. <laughs> purple. All right, cool. So, yeah, I'll stick to the purple. I think the purple is going to look amazing on it. Purple with a yellow splash coming up the hood. That'd be kind of clean. I don't know how I'd be able to pull that off, but that would look super clean. All right, Hewitts, I appreciate you, buddy, man. Have a good night. I want to see some more customs on your channel. I got the retro rig with the Dodge SRT Demon. Oh, yeah, the Hot Wheels livery one. That thing is freaking sweet. Rapid says, does anyone know how to email someone else? Normally, you just go to an email and email somebody. <laughs> Purple and BMW three-stripe style. Oh, that'd be nice. Rico says, how about purple, dark blue, and yellow? All right, all right. Y'all are, are piquing my interest here. These ideas are really good. EJ says, blue with yellow metallic flakes. Ooh, blue with yellow metallic flakes. Man, that'd be nice. Big A says, ma, the drill gun. <laughs> Yes, it was still by my foot. <laughs> Static says, Rapid doesn't know how to email? Yeah, dude. Technology, bro. Red Dotson, I'm in your face. <laughs> Mark doesn't do that anymore, man. I miss when he does that. But he, has, he also doesn't live stream that much. Christina says, I said it earlier, he might be broken. <laughs> oh, Rapid. Rapid's always getting roasted on these. Why? If you don't know how to email, don't ever say you don't know how to email, dude. You're in the age, you're growing up in the age of technology. I mean, email's been around for like 20 years. Uh, Lance says you should customize a Mustang to look like Eleanor from Gone in 60 Seconds. Yeah, I probably should. But I don't because I have the Gone in 60 Seconds car, but it'd be kind of fun to do. Rapid might be an 89-year-old 89, 89 man. <laughs> no, Rapid's not. He's young, man. He's young. Go check out his channel. He's young. J-K-O-L-P-I-V. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's a word or an acronym, but it says Candy Red with Silver Ghost Racing Stripes. Yeah, that's that's a solid combination right there. Rare Dotson says, I think Derek kidnapped him and didn't return him back to Washington. <laughs> I hear you, Static Crispy. Just be careful not to hurt yourself. Yep. Do you have the full ball three? I'm thinking you're saying the Gumball 3000 car. Um, I have a couple. I got the Ford Escorts, the Gumball. I got the Premium Gumballs. 
customizer says he had that little boy say it on his video. <laughs> yeah. Jake, right, was his new friend or something like that? Joanne says 2021 Hot Wheels are insane this year. Yes. Rapid says, I'll have you know, I know how to email. It just won't work. Yeah, okay. You just asked. You just said, does anybody know how to email? <laughs> Uh, Mustang Hunter, do you ever go after the green light fox bodies? No, I don't. Um, because that's all the way over in Hobby Lobby and I never really go there. Um, but if I do get my hands on some, yes, I'll definitely. If I see them, yes, I'll grab them. But most of the time they're at Hobby Lobby and I don't go there. Big A says, definitely give her an inflated number. You'll make her a lot better. <laughs> Joanne says, can you tell your pimpin' wife? <laughs> what? <laughs> Legend has it Derek took Mark and built a replica of his Hot Wheels room and now Mark is with Derek. <laughs> Ooh, ADMX2 has the Dodge Rampage. That's the one I'm looking for. I think that, that one and like one more is the only one I need for JK's. Joanne with the sheep. Max just picked up a super treasure hunt car. Nice, man. What is it? Which one did you find? All right, guys. We'll give this uh, probably like two more minutes. And then we'll cut this one. We'll, can't, we'll, we'll stop our Sunday because we're over two hours right now. Your Filipino wife. Yep. She is from Samar. From the province of Samar. That's why I have the... Philippine sun right here on my Spanish sword even though Spain conquered the Philippines I know the heritage of it I have the Philippine sun my wife and daughter's name with the sword I just cracked open the 87 toy to pick up from the mail-in nice man that thing is sweet Brandon B you'd be laughing at something All right, Mike, peace out. Everybody go support Helmet Diecast. Have a good week to you, man. Stay safe. Ooh, the 57 Chevy, nice. I live in Philippines before Canada. Nice. I mean, I figured you. I figured you did. I just didn't know because I saw one of your comments said Canada, so I was like, "Oh, they moved to Canada." EJ says, "All right, everyone, dinner time. Yeah, it is about that time. We're gonna wrap it up." But I definitely appreciate all of you tuning in uh, to another Cars and Coffee live stream. So, Christina, Static, Lance Graham, EJ, Rapid, everybody, Customizer, everyone that is tuned in, I appreciate all of you. Rare Dotson, um, Joanne, thank you so much for tuning in to another Sunday's Cars and Coffee. Um, I definitely appreciate all of you, but stay tuned for tonight. I will be posting. The Customizer says you gotta get more tattoos than me. Hey, if it was up to me, I would be covered in tattoos, like legit. My brother is covered from here down full sleeves everything if it was up to me i would do that um i love tattoos and all that stuff but i'll get there eventually um but yeah this is the only one i got right here on my forearm but yeah like i said guys that is all i got i appreciate you all tuning in so much uh thank you very much and of course um joanne says speak some filipino words like uh bucket and um uh, okay, I'll just say uh, salamat po and uh, thank you for tuning in. They usually do that. They usually say it in, in Tagalog and then in English. They kind of mix it up. <laughs> Red Dotson says Spanish. Adios, amigos. Adios. That's all, I mean, that's all I know. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Have a great night. I love you all. And, of course, stay tuned for my video. I'll be posting tonight of my mail call. You don't want to miss it. It's some great stuff. I kind of showcased the customs already, but please tune in. And of course, until next time, guys, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.